story of why going slow to go fast saves you time and money, especially when you're operating through menstrual alignment. Hello, Christine Marie here. And before we get into the story, please like and subscribe so that other people can learn how to build their businesses through menstrual alignment, if they're entrepreneurs, be the best workers they can be through menstrual alignment, and for all human beings, learn how to build out our lives and nurture and curate environments that nurture us in our home spheres, in our work spheres, and throughout all spokes of our wheel of life to create actual balance in all parts of our wheel of life. To do that, you wanna follow these tips, you wanna watch the videos, you want to let the information, because we are feminine energy biased beings and we absorb and be rather than do and acquire, we let the information swirl around us, percolate, root, and bloom. So let's get to it. Going slow to go fast is a very old adage. It's very common, it's very popular, it makes a lot of sense. And it is something that I have used in every business that I've had. My story today is about how going slow to go fast because I am using menstrual alignment and because that means I'm using radical cycle syncing and I'm applying it to every part of my life, that's the radical part, I ended up saving time and money. So I am an entrepreneur. I created this really cool offer to the world. It is the Fierce Gentleness Framework and it enables people who are struggling with different menstrual disorders and menstrual imbalance, imbalances and diagnoses that are highly detrimental to our health. It enables us to shift to pain-free, PMS-free and regular cycles. Doesn't matter what you're showing up with, everybody gets this shift because what we're actually doing is just defaulting to our our state of grace. We are letting ourselves fall back into the way that we were supposed to be navigating this world from birth. And in the relearning, in the re-remembering, we end up curating lives that are very nourishing for our way of being and therefore for our womb. And as this entrepreneur who is bringing this awareness to the world, this total revolution in how we get to show up for our lives and our bodies and how easy it is and how sacrifice and suffering free healing can be. I am the period empress and I am constantly creating ways for people to start engaging with that process of shift because it is so necessary for our world that the solutions that we as people born with a uterus offer get heard at the local, municipal, well local is municipal, regional, state, national level. This affects all of us whether or not you were born with a uterus. That's what I do. That's how I spend my time. That means I have to do what seems to be a lot of work, but because I use menstrual phases and I I'm tuned in to the physiological orientations of each phase, I progress and I build my business through easeful impact. Well, part of building your business through easeful impact, building your business in this way that is encouraging of the innate strengths that we are born with as people born with a uterus, as people who want to progress in the world, as feminine energy biased beings, it is really important that we let each phase do what it needs to do. We don't try to fast forward through one because we really wanna to get to the other one. No, we be over and over again. And in so doing, we end up being four different people in our menstrual phases. Well, in order to allow ourselves to be, we cannot afford to freak out about impending deadlines or superficial tasks or requirements we, have, we may have made for ourselves because life is always in session and life is always working out in our favor. Going slow to go fast and how that saves money showed up for me because I was, I work from a quarterly list of tasks, okay? So I schedule the tasks for the entire quarter three months in advance, the daily tasks for each project. So I may have more than one thing to do on each day, 
but that's typically not the case, first of all. And secondly, all of the tasks that I schedule are also organized according to their appropriate menstrual phase, according to the menstrual phase that's going to enable me to show up in the best way for those particular tasks. And because I have them scheduled three months in advance, I know where my vacations are. I know that I do not work Fridays. I know that I'm offline on Sundays. And because I'm in the early stages of entrepreneurship, I do work some days on the weekends. But on my calendar, as I have it right now, I have all Sundays off. I have two Saturdays on for the, you know, from June to August, to the end of August. And I have no Fridays. So that's a really beautiful work week that fits really well for me because I am very much driven. Um, I don't need as much free time in the other spokes of the wheel of life, but I still show up for them because a broken wheel can't roll, right? So I do show up for them, but I just notice my energy has this, there's just this spirit and I enjoy, I, it's just, it makes me light up to get to show up in this way right now. So I'm gonna roll with it. Anyways, I have to mention that because since I have these tasks, it's important that I show up on the day to do the thing because I know that I'm only gonna get that phase during that month to do that task and for it to be in its right, in its right um, workflow for the project to be finished at its designated deadline. And so it is important that I don't skip anything, but we go slow to go fast. Yeah. So wait, before I go in any further, um, if you are interested in what I'm talking about, in um, having a quarterly schedule, in batching your tasks uh, according to your menstrual phase, I created this really cool entrepreneurship bundle for people who are menstruating. Now, if your period is not yet regular, it's gonna be really hard to schedule um, your three months. And in that case, you want to do something to regulate it. And that's part of what this bundle is. The bundle includes the restore, the rest or the restore, the nine day um, radical restorative challenge. It includes expand, which is a 30 day uh, expansive breathing practice to of course get you, first you get rested, then you get into your being as your default. And then we add the succeed, which is the how to on not only generating content for your um, three months, but also making that menstrually aligned task by task uh, project um, management tool. So those are all available so that you can't just say, you're not just going like, hey, I, I wanted that, I want that. Just go to the description after this video and you can click the link and you can get this bundle. And the bundle is available, so I don't know when you're gonna see this video. The bundle is available until July 1st at the pre-sale price. And then it goes to its regular price, the value price that's listed, it goes to that price after July 1st. So you'll see this in June for sure, but this is gonna be on the internet forever. So if you're seeing it after the sale, then um, you can look forward to it. Um, it'll also be offered uh, at another time, I'm sure, because I love doing little pop-up promotions. I think that's fun. So back to going slow to go fast and why it saved me time and money. So I was in my cycles. I mean, I was in, um, I had a very, I had a protracted priestess phase, which means that my priestess phase is usually about five days. And then after that is soldier phase. And soldier phase is when you're like, you've got a lot of energy. You're very, very um, kind of aggressive in taking action. And time seems to be moving very, very quickly. And you're very productive. You're getting a lot of things done. Well, um, I did not switch from priestess to soldier according to when I planned to. And I had a lot of very high, highly detailed, what is that word? It's not minutia. Highly tedious tasks that soldier phase loves to do. Priestess will have nothing to do with these tasks. And just to give you an idea, the biological term for soldier phase is the follicular phase, and the biological term for priestess phase is menstrual phase. So you can get an idea of what I'm talking about, although I did use embodied names. So imagine what a soldier does. Imagine what a priestess does. So I was like, wait, ah, I have this deadline. I've got to do this, but it's not in alignment. My phases are, for whatever reason, I'm like, day one happened where I expected to be in soldier and I wasn't there, so I didn't do the action. I chilled in priestess because ultimately my body is co-creating 
I have an agreement with the universe that everything is always happening in perfect timing under grace and perfect ways. And that includes my phases. And so I just chilled. I said, okay, the transitional period is taking longer. And I did other things that are more appropriate too. the things that are great to do when you're transitioning from priestess to soldier. And day two, nothing. And day three, nothing. And during day three, I had an appointment and I had an appointment with our publicist and we met and she had some news for me about our content, about a, a way that she wants to reorient our content. And if I had been on schedule, if I had done the tasks that I was supposed to do, I would have entered into an agreement with a vendor that no longer serves the way that the direction we're going because her, her, her case for our reorientation was extremely compelling.